Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee out here in uh, one of my little gardens today. I'm going to pick some stuff and I'm going to make for you guys an end of the garden relish. Now it's a little bit early for end of the garden relish. They would usually make this in uh, September when the garden was wrapping up. But I wanted to get this video out so uh, people knew about this and they could utilize as much out of their garden as they possibly could this year with all the uh, shortages and the prices going up. And uh, the big thing with end of the garden relish is, is there's no real set of uh, vegetables that go in it. You can use whatever that you have and uh, you typically want about um, 14 cups or so cut up. So I'm going to use uh, carrots, onions, green tomatoes, peppers, uh, zucchini, cucumbers, and probably cabbage. And I'm going to see once what I can get by uh, putting these things together. Anyway, I'm going to start uh, picking some stuff here and we're going to get this in and we're going to get this started for you guys. All right, guys, I got my uh, vegetables uh, in the house washed and uh, kind of uh, shredded up. I uh, grated some and some I just cut in real fine strips. I've got um, cabbage. I got uh, carrots, green tomatoes, cucumbers. Kind of turn this around here. Bell peppers zucchini and then I've got uh, onions so I've got about um, 14 cups of uh, shredded up vegetables here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these with a half a cup of uh, kosher salt and then I'm going to let them set at least three hours five hours would be uh, better overnight would be really good and then I'm going to drain them and then I'm going to get them into a uh, vinegar sugar uh, spice mixture so we can uh, make our relish so anyway guys i'll be coming back to you in a few hours all right this has been just shy of five hours now i put my half a cup of uh, kosher salt on this and the salt leaches the liquid out of these vegetables because they're pretty juicy and I drained this good so I drained all the liquid off of this and uh, part of the reason you do that is is you're taking the liquid out of these vegetables and then you're going to replace it with your vinegar and sugar which is basically your uh, pickle. Now what, I, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put four cups of sugar in my pot here and then I'm going to add my uh, spices into it. This is two tablespoons of turmeric, um, four tablespoons of mustard seed, and two tablespoons of celery seed. And that is that. And then I am going to add four cups of my uh, homemade vinegar here. It's a vinegar that I made about a year and a half ago. did a video on it. I'll put a link in the description for that video. And we are going to measure out about four cups of this. And I can't stress this enough. Um, if you want to preserve food, there's a few things that you need to have on hand. You need to have salt, you need to have sugar, and you need to have vinegar, you need to have some kind of spices. Oh, a little bit shy yet. These are some of the really important things to have because if you have these things you can uh, preserve food a multiple different multiple different ways let me get this in here now i'm going to turn my heat on this give me a spoon here and then we're going to uh, get the sugar dissolved in here real well 
I'm going to get this heat and heated up real well and then I'm going to uh, transfer my vegetables into this and bring this all up to a boil so we can pack it into our jars so we can hot water bath it. All right, my vinegar sugar mixture is heating up and we're going to start adding the uh, vegetables into this. And there's still water coming out of this. And then we are going to bring this whole concoction up to a boil. And we're going to boil this for about five minutes or so. And then we are going to pack it into our, uh, our cleaned uh, pint jars. And then we're going to hot water bath it. Just like uh, any other pickle or pickle relish. All right, we're going to bring this up to a boil and let this boil for five minutes. Using a slotted spoon here to drain some of the uh, vinegar mixture out because we want a full jar of relish, not a bunch of uh, the vinegar sugar mixture on the bottom. Sometimes uh, the relish will float up to the top. I'm trying to prevent that. And when we got our jar full, then we're going to uh, pack it good and then wipe the uh, rim of the jar and then we're going to get a lid on it and we're going to get it in our hot water bath canner. All right, guys, this is the final look on uh, the end of the garden relish. You can see here it only made four pints and started out as uh, 14 cups. That's how much uh, water that that uh, salt draws out so uh, the uh, sugar and the vinegar can get into uh, the relish. You can see here it's it's got a pretty color to it with the orange from the carrots and the red from the uh, bell peppers. They all sealed. Everything sealed up really good for me the minute I uh, got them out of the um, hot water bath canner. But hope you guys in, uh, enjoyed this little video here. Just another way to uh, use up every single thing that's in your garden in these uh, times when everything is uh, so expensive and it's only seems like it's getting uh, more expensive and everything just seems to be getting worse. But uh, the old timers would make this uh, end of the garden relish sort of like. Uh, fruit butters just a way to uh, use every single thing that they possibly could up and get something out of it but anyway it's modern refugee appreciate all my subscribers out there hope you guys get a little information a little entertainment out of my videos as always and you guys take care